So in this video, we have a block of mass 2 kilos, which is going to be modelled as a rectangular lamina of width 0.5 metres and height 0.2 metres. A force of P newtons is being applied to the right at that corner, and the surface is rough. Uh, it has a coefficient of friction of 0.4. Find the range of values of P such that the box will begin to slide across the ground. So let's add in uh, the forces that we're aware of here. Now, there's going to be a normal reaction force because the box is in contact with the surface. And we have the weight working vertically downwards, which will be 2G. Now, I'm modelling both of those as going through the centre of the block. Now... Because the surface is rough, there's going to be a frictional force working to the left, so I'll put that in as FR. OK, so first thing I'm going to do for part A then is resolve vertically. So taking upwards as positive, we have R take away 2G is going to be equal to 0, so R has to be equal to 2G. Now we know that the friction would have to be equal to mu times r. So that's mu times 2g. Now mu is 0.4, so the friction has got to be 0.8 times g. OK, so now I can look at resolving uh, horizontally. So resolving horizontally, I have the P-Newton force, so P, take away the friction, 0.8G, and that's got to be equal to uh, the mass times acceleration, okay? Which, if we're on the point of moving, um, then I could put that as equal to zero at the start initially. So that means that P would have to be equal to 0.8G. So 0 0.8 times 9.8 is 7.84. So if P is 7.84, then it's on the point of moving. So the range of values of P such that the box will begin to slide across the ground, the answer to that would have to be P is greater than 7.84. 4 newtons. Okay? So <clears throat> if that is the case then it will begin to slide. Okay. So now part B, find the range of values of P such that the box will begin to topple. Now, if it's going to begin to topple, it'll start toppling this way about this corner. So let's call that corner A. Now, if that's the case, now that will be the only point that is in contact with the surface. So the normal reaction force will now go through A, like that, go through that corner. So what I'll do is I'll take moments about point A. So if I take moments about point A, then we have, uh, let's work with the 2G force First, we're 0.25 away from 2G, and that's going to be going in a anti-clockwise motion, in an anti-clockwise. So that's uh, 0.25 times 2G. And we don't need to worry about the friction. We don't need to worry about the normal reaction. So the only other force that we need to worry about is the P-Newton force, and that is 0.2 metres away. So that's going to go around the clockwise motion. So take away 0.2 times by P. OK. So if the total moment is going to be equal to zero, if it's, um, if it's not going to be rotating about that point, then I can put this equal to zero and then solve it for P. So P is going to be equal to 0 0.25 
times by 2 times by 9.8, and then divide that by 0 0.2, and we get 24.5 newtons. So if P is greater than 24.5 newtons, then it'll begin to topple. So what we have is that if you start with P being zero, okay, the box is not moving. As you increase P up to 7.84, the box is on the point of sliding. Once it goes past 7.84, the box begins to slide. If you keep increasing P up to 24.5 newtons, the box is still sliding, but is on the point of toppling. When you get past 24.5 newtons, the box topples. Okay, and so that is the scenario that we're seeing here. Now for part C, for what range of values of mu will the box topple without sliding? So, in this case then, uh, we know that the friction is equal to mu times r, which was 2g. So if we resolve horizontally, we have p take away the friction, which is 2 mu g and we're going to put that equal to zero so that implies that p would have to be equal to 2 mu g now um, p here remember because we need it to start toppling needs to be 24.5 So, mu is going to be 24.5 divided by 2 times g, which is 1.25. So therefore, if mu is greater than 1.25, then what happens is that the block will start toppling before it starts sliding. Okay, so that means it will topple first and it won't slide at all.